Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a quick um, luminous foundation routine and this is what I do every day. So um, the first thing we are going to start with is a moisturizer and I'm going to be using the Glam Glow Glow Starter and this is in the shade Nude Glow. So we are going to put this all over our face. A little bit goes a long way actually. And we're going to just rub that in. make sure we get it rubbed into the skin quite well and I apologize I'm looking in the viewfinder to um, use it so once that's on usually I would wait a little bit and let that soak into the skin um, that's obviously because I have more time when I'm actually doing my makeup to go anywhere so um, with that said, we're going to go ahead and go in with a primer. This is a new drugstore primer. It's been around forever. New to me, rather. It's been around forever. It is the Maybelline Baby Skin, and this is an instant pore eraser. And I've dropped everything. And we're just going to put that in the areas where, for me, it would be my T-zone. I focus mostly there and again make sure it's completely rubbed into the skin and I like this um, primer it feels just as um, good as the Benefit Professional or the Smashbox primer it has that same texture um, this is my second time using it and so far I do like it so again I would normally let this sit and just penetrate into the skin but we're gonna go ahead and go in with foundation um, I apologize one thing I have been doing lately is using the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I had the hardest time figuring out how to use these and I looked at different tutorials and um, really wanted to use them. Didn't know how. Nothing seemed to be working for me. So what I've been doing lately is placing one tiny dot on my hand and I'm taking the um, L'Oreal sponge and I am going to lightly dab that onto my cheeks between my just in the t-zone where you would normally um, highlight and then that's how luminous it is. Can't really tell on my face just yet because I do have the moisturizer on as well. So now, um, make sure that's a bit dry, but you can already see it does give a nice glow. Some people um, have said to put this into their, you know, they put it directly into their foundation. I have not done that method yet. That's the only one I haven't tried, but I've tried it with a brush. I've tried it on top of the foundation. Um, I just haven't really found any other way that works for me. So, um, again, like I said, I just place that on top of the primer, and then we're going to go in with um, foundation. I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the shade light 45 and with my mermaid brush we're just going to work the foundation in 
This is a very thick, high coverage foundation. Um, it's a bit harder to work in with this brush. But it's what I've been doing this week, so... I do go along my jawline and just work the foundation in. Alright, now that we have the foundation on, we can go straight into concealer. The concealer I will be using is the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. And we are just going to dab that underneath our eyes, in the center of our forehead. In the normal highlighty areas. And we're going to take a different sponge. This is a regular beauty blender. And we're just going to work that in. Alright, once you get that worked in, then you can just go about um, patting the foundation out just to make sure you don't have any brush lines. And that is the foundation. You can still see a bit of the highlight that I did place under um, the foundation. So again, it, um, I'll show you in a second how I use a topper on top of it to intensify. But for now, while you still have a bit of tackiness underneath your eyes, I'm taking a Luxie brush, and it's actually the um, 660 Precision Foundation brush. I got it in an Ipsy bag, and I'm taking the Ofra uh, translucent powder, and we're going to set underneath our eyes just like this. Since I wear glasses, I do find that um, I like my under eye to be a bit more highlighted. So that is done. I don't know, um, I have pretty bad lighting down here, but um, you can still see the highlight and you can see the difference in the um, foundation and the set powder underneath my eyes. So the next thing I'm going to do is set the rest of my face. This is a, excuse me, Real, Real Techniques um, powder blush brush. Super soft. I love this brush. Got it for Mother's Day. And the powder I'm using is just the Wet n Wild Press Powder in the shade. Um, I took the little label off so I don't know what the shade is any longer. I've hit pan on it because it's so good. So I have a backup in a drawer waiting for me. Now with this powder, I'm going to buff out any foundation lines and then just set the rest of my face. And that is that. So the last thing I'll do real quick is um, a highlight on top of 
the Marc Jacobs and I'll just grab this one because it's closest. This is the limited edition Wet n Wild, the sweetest bling. And um, my dog has the lid that I dropped to the primer. So if you hear that in the background. And for your highlight, we're just going to layer right on top of your cheekbone. And I know it's kind of um, interesting using a drugstore highlighter on top of this luxury highlighter, but it seems to work for me. Now, mind you, I would have done my contour first, but for the video, I just wanted to show that layering those two colors really shows up nicely. And I like a really nice, um, subtle highlight. So that is my foundation routine. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I will have all of the products that I use listed below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will um, hopefully be back very soon with another video for you guys. Much love. Bye-bye.